Hello everyone, this is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I have my 2018 planner set up. I finally have it finished. Um, if you watched my 2018 planner set up so far, you will have seen this planner, this planner I, have, I will be using for YouTube and YouTube only. And I'm really excited to start using this planner. I think I've got it set up how I want to, want to use it, but I've already shown you that. So I'm going to set this planner aside and get into my Carpe Diem planner. This planner, this planner is in the A5 size, but this is the planner I was using last year. I basically have just replaced the inserts and made a few things on the inside that I'm going to walk you through. So when you open up my planner, it has a nice snap right here. The rings are still amazing. I have this planner basically really full. So on this side of my planner, I have just some stickers I'm using. Um, I'm currently using these in my monthly view, um, and you will see that here. And then I have a folder here that I, I actually made it last year, and it's still in really great shape and matches what I have going on. So I decided to just go ahead and use it again this year. I will put a link down below on how I make these. It has a nice gusseted pocket on the inside, and it fits the A5 size perfectly, like so. So, um, I'll link down below how to make these. It is so easy. So for my inserts this year, I decided to make mine. It was really simple. I don't have a tutorial of it recorded yet, but I will. I used a scrapbook paper pad, one of the hot buys from Michaels, and it just looks like this. It's the Candy Retro, and um, I got this on super good deal. So, I'm using that pad. And I'm also using this uh, cardstock pack that I got for $2 at Michael's. Um, and there is 50 sheets in there and there is just a ton of paper here. Perfect for this project. I made my dividers. This is just, I guess, what you would call a flyleaf. It's protecting my pages underneath. And then in, underneath I have just some note paper. I used some graph paper that I had already cut up from last year. I had it left over. And this is just a way for me to quick open my planner, take some notes, because I do take this planner on the go with me to doctor's appointments, therapy appointments, and all of that kind of thing. Because I have four children, and when I set up appointments, I just need to know. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be calling and rescheduling. Okay, so this is my notes section. It's right at the top. The next section I have, um, and then here is my next uh, my first divider, I should say, that I made. This is out of that um, Candy Retro cardstock pack, pack from uh, Michaels, and it's double-sided, as you can see. I have the 2018 holiday list from So Much Crafting. This is a free printable on her Facebook page. I decided to go with So Much Crafting this year because I've heard all the hype and I've always wanted to try it and I haven't yet and I have to tell you that they are what they are. <laughs> they are as good as they have been talked about or what you've been hearing. They're really nice. Her paper is really nice. And then I'm gonna scoop back. This is December, quick look, quick look at January. Um, and this is an empty February. So this is what her inserts look like for the month. I did the month on two pages. So for my weekly inserts, I decided to just go ahead and put them in their own separate section. I have cassette tapes for those, that section. And then I also decided to go ahead and make my own bookmarker in the, or page marker in the paper as well. And I decided to go ahead and do the week on two pages. I'm sorry, the two weeks on two pages. And it's working out perfectly for me because I don't need to put down my routines every day anymore. And I will show you that. That is, I have a whole section for my routines in the back of my planner. Um, but I do go ahead and I put down my meal plans, my appointments, my lists of things to do, that kind of thing in here, but not my routine, so I don't need to list them out anymore. Okay, and then I do have this section here. In this section, I put down YouTube notes. That's the only part of YouTube that will be in here because sometimes I do get ideas and I do get inspired when I'm on the go, so I wanted a section just for that. And I do have a few pages here. 
Um, and it's also the graph paper. Now, also in this section, hidden and unmarked, is the Christmas section. I made this flap out of just the cardstock, and I will show you how to make this. I didn't do a tutorial on this last year, so I will do a tutorial on this this year, so stay tuned for this. And it's just um, a gusseted flap divider, I guess is what you can call it. And inside is free printables from the Simple Stories blog, Right now you can print them off, and I did not print off the whole, all of them, I just printed off what I wanted. And I have like, you know, my page here. And let's see, and it looks like this. And it has the official wish list, the Christmas card list, more of the Christmas card list, <laughs> and oh what fun. And then back here is the actual gift list in the back. And that's who it was for, what I purchased and how much it cost. And that's basically how I'm narrowing it down this year. I may eventually put some a food list in here, but as for right now, I think this is good. And so that is marked off hidden and hidden. So in case my kids get in there, they will never know there's anything Christmas and to, related in there. This is my routines tab. Um, I use the roller skates for this. This is a printable that I want to make and have not yet made. And then I have my weekly routines. I do have a video on how I do my re weekly routines and set them up in my planner, as well as free printables. I will link the video down below that has the link to these free printables in it and how I use it. That is a video, and in, in that video it's description box, the link, that's where the link is. Okay, and then, so that was my weekly routine. These are the things I do weekly. And then here are my zone cleaning. Um, I, will, I do a zone a week. Every month I have four zones, um, and I break it down to one zone per week, but I don't necessarily do all of these things in one month. Um, so I will just move it along. Whatever I don't do in January gets done in February. So it's like on an eight week rotation. So I have my zone one, which is the entry laundry walk-in closet. Zone two is the kitchen. Zone three is the living room and bathrooms. And zone four is the master and kids bedrooms. And like I said, I'll have the video with these free printables in it linked down below. Okay, and then behind that is more routine stuff. This is um, my Betty Rocker printables that I have to get back into, I'm hoping anyway. I've gotten away from it. And then the last uh, tab here, tab divider here, is for my budget. And this is gonna look a little different from last year. I just set it up just a little bit differently. So you're gonna, <laughs> if you open up just to the tab, you're gonna end up with just a piece of cardstock. But if you flip it this way, you're gonna end up with my checkbook register. So on this page here, when you open it, that will be the page that I'm working on. And so if you open it here, let's see, this is why I had it like this. These will be the pages here that aren't behind this tab right here. Um, these will have uh, transactions that haven't cleared the bank yet, and everything under this tab has cleared the bank. So once these transactions cleared the bank, then I can just flip it in here. And then these, this will be the page that I'm currently working on. And then I also have extras behind here as well. So then you flip this, and I have another page divider. This is my actual budget page. And by the way, I have free printables and how I use these, <laughs> and another video as well, so I will link that down below. And then here's my budget page. I decided to gussy this one up a little bit. I'm not sure why, but I did. Uh, so it, when you open it up, it looks like this. I do have free printables for these as well, everyone. So um, I will link that down below. I broke it down into five weeks and for those people that get paid weekly and every once in a while, there's a fifth paycheck thrown in. And then I have my annual bill schedule. Um, not only do I just put my regular bills on here, I put on like my quarterly bills, my annual bills, my semi-annual bills, everything gets listed on here that could possibly come up, medical bills, that type of thing. I will have those listed down below for you as well. Then you flip over and it's just a piece of cardstock that I have laminated to, as a page riser in the back and I have this completely clear. 
And that is how I have my Carpe Diem planner set up for the year of 2018. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.